it's a sample problem here. And this kind of puts into perspective really all those steps, the idea of manipulating your equations uh, to make them work. Right? So here we have the following. Uh, we're going to be reacting iron 3 oxide with carbon monoxide to give us the following chemical equation as follows. Fe2O3 with plus 3 moles of carbon monoxide to form 3 moles of carbon dioxide gas and 2 moles of iron. So determine the enthalpy change of this reaction given the following equations and their enthalpy changes. So this is the information that we've been given. We've been given really some of these types of reactions here. We've got carbon monoxide gas plus a half a mole of oxygen gas to form carbon one mole carbon dioxide, and it's exothermic, and it will give away this amount of heat. If we combine iron with oxygen, it will form the iron three oxide. Now, here we have really our target equation. We want to be able to combine all our reactants and combine all our products and start to cancel out. Right? So what we want to do is make sure that whatever the reactants are match the reactants here. So let's look at uh, equation one. So we've got equation one and equation number two. So in equation one, we've got carbon monoxide gas, carbon monoxide gas. So yes, we, we know that this reactant is this reactant. Reacts with oxygen. There's no oxygen on this reactant side. There's no oxygen on this product side. So we know odds are this oxygen is good, and it's going to give off this amount of heat. And we know it's exothermic because of the negative value. Now let's look at uh, equation two now. We've got iron on the reactant side. Look at where iron is here. Iron is on the product side. So reactant on this side, product on this side. We want this equation Actually, and another thing that we're going to notice, as we said, oxygen is not is neither direction. So odds are oxygen will probably end up canceling out. And look at where what the product here is, iron to oxide, which happens to be the reactant in our target. So what we want is we want our reactants to match the, the reactants and, and products of our target. So equation one is as is, right? We're, and I'm going to not... Put the states just uh, to make things hopefully a little bit neater. But when you're working yours out, please include um, the states. So delta H is equal to minus 283 kilojoules. Now, this is our first equation, right? As we said, equation one so far matches now. But the only thing is equation two. This reactant is a product in our target. So we want to switch it because also this product here is the reactant of this of the target. So what we're going to do is we are going to want the equation to go in this direction. So what are we going to do? We are going to rewrite equation number two and we're going to rewrite it backwards. So we're going to start off with our products in Fe. 203. So what we're going to do is remember this is a equation two going in this direction is a synthesis reaction, a formation reaction. We're going to go in the opposite direction, which is a decomposition. So we are going to decompose iron three oxide into two moles of iron plus three half moles of oxygen. But now notice what I'm going to do here. Our change in enthalpy oops, is equal to 800 and 24.2 kilojoules. Going in this direction, it's exothermic. Going in that direction, it's the opposite. It's endothermic. So it will reverse the, the, uh, the, the, um, the charge. Right? So it will go from negative to a positive or from a positive to a negative. Uh, some books will tell you to multiply it by negative one. Um, I just like to just tell people, just switch the signs, right? If it's negative, make it positive. If it's positive, make it negative when you're reversing it. Now, let's look at it. Let's look at our, um, our, our products, sorry, at our reactants. So we've got Fe and we've got CO and oxygen. Those are our products, right? Look at it. And these here are our, sorry, our rea sorry these are our reactants. These are our products. So what we're going to do is we are going to rewrite this using all these steps. So now we've got, uh, now uh, another thing to keep in mind 
is if we look at actually before I actually combine them I cannot combine them just yet because there's one more step that I need to uh, keep in mind um, actually you know what let's do it um, we're gonna do that step last so what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine them our reactants so we've got CO plus a half O2 right? and we're going to um, add it and I'm gonna change uh, the color plus Fe2O3. So I'm going to add purple to represent um, equation one and blue to represent equation two. And I'm going to form my products, which are as follows. CO2 plus 2Fe plus three halves of oxygen. Now, if we look at this equation, we've got one mole of carbon monoxide, three moles of carbon monoxide. We've got three moles of uh, carbon dioxide. So what we have to do to this equation here, equation one, is we need to multiply it by a coefficient of three. So we're going to multiply all these terms by three. So three times one becomes actually, um, let me delete some of this here. Okay. So three times a half becomes three over two. And we're gonna multiply this by three. So now all of a sudden I'm going to incorporate three moles of carbon monoxide, three over two moles of oxygen, and three moles of carbon dioxide. Now. Not only do I multiply those by 3, but I have to multiply also this delta H by 3. Because remember the equation, delta H is equal to N delta H of the reaction, right? So if the mole number changes, so will the change in enthalpy. The change in enthalpy will also change, right, by however many moles. So because we multiplied it by 3, this delta H now is going to become um, the following. So let me just grab my calculator here. Uh, so we're gonna multiply 283 and we're gonna multiply it by three to give us by minus 849 kilojoules. All right, so this first reaction is going to be as follows, and this reaction is as follows. So now let's go and start canceling out common uh, compounds. So we've got CO, we've uh, and only CO appears. We've got three halves, three half moles of oxygen on both sides, and they cancel out. We've got Fe2O3, which doesn't cancel out. We've got three CO2, and we've got two Fe. So in actuality, our end result is really our actual equation. So we've got three moles of CO plus one mole of Fe2O3 to produce three moles of CO2 plus two moles of Fe. Exactly like our target up here. So if we look at our target equation, we just got our target equation by adding the two types of reactions. Now, to find the actual change in enthalpy of this reaction, well, we're going to take this value here and we are going to add it to this value here to give me what is really the change in enthalpy of this actual equation. And the change in enthalpy of this overall target is as follows. When we add these two, minus uh, 849 plus 824, uh, 0.2 kilojoules, we are going to get a value of minus 24.8 kilojoules. So in actuality, this target equation is actually an exothermic reaction. So when this uh, iron three oxide reacts with carbon monoxide, it is going to give off this amount of heat when it forms these two products. So a few things to be careful of. Rearrange your equation. Right? So we rearrange your equation so your reactants, right, 
Right? Your reactants and products match the reactants and products of your target. And then make sure that the moles also match the number of moles in your target. But not only are you multiplying all the, the terms in your equation by that mole number, you're also multiplying your delta H by that value as well.